you. All right. Make sure we should try this once again, also when invisible, in case something wonky happens in the code. Oh, there's a mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What happened? You drove over like a harasser. You drove over like a harasser. Hit it with your tire. No. I hit the three of them. And then once you do that, see if your thunder explodes. All your thunder. I feel like a stunt man. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh! 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 <laughs> Those were my last words. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would make a good tombstone. <laughs> I feel like a stunt man. Were, I think I feel like a stunt man. <laughs>Hello and welcome to another episode of Planetside 2 The More You Know, the series where I give you tips and tricks to help you out in Planetside 2. I am Lethal Dose 50 x and today I will cover the basics about anti-tank mines. I will discuss their basic mechanics, and in the next episode I will give you some tips and tricks for using tank mines effectively. Let's get started. Tank mines are an unlock for the Engineer class, and cost 100 certs to unlock. Once you unlock it, you can carry two tank mines at a time. If you unlock tank mines a second time, you can carry three at a time. The way they work is simple. You put the tank mine on the ground. That's it. There is no detonator or anything. They just sit there. You cannot pick them back up. Once the tank mine lands on the ground, the tank mine will take a few seconds to arm itself. Once the tank mine is armed, the tank mine will explode automatically if an enemy vehicle moves near it. Just placing a tank mine near an enemy vehicle will not trigger the detonation the enemy vehicle has to actually move. You can, of course, explode the tank mine yourself by damaging it. Max units will not activate tank mines. Tank mines will stay in play even after you die, and even change class, so you can always have tank mines in play, potentially giving you experience points. Heck, the tank mines even stay after a warp gate rotation. There is a limit to how many tank mines you can have in play at a time, and that number is determined by how many you can currently carry. If you unlock both levels of tank mines, you can have up to three tank mines in play at a time. If you also upgrade and equip your utility pouch, you can have four tank mines in play at a level two utility pouch and five tank mines in play at utility pouch level four or higher. If your maximum number of tank mines is in play and you decide to place another one, the oldest tank mine you placed will disappear or deconstruct. There will be no detonation or anything. It just goes away. Let's say that you are using the utility pouch level 4 or higher and decide to place 5 tank mines. If you switch to a different engineer class that can only carry 3 tank mines, your older tank mines will not disappear. If you also decide to place a new tank mine, only the oldest tank mine will disappear. Try to remember how many tank mines you can have in play and how many are currently in play. Tank mines do a heck of a lot of damage. However, it takes two tank mines to blow up most ground vehicles. Flashes will blow up in one mine and harassers will go on fire. Lightnings and tanks will go to about 20 to 30% health left with a single mine. Sunderers go to about less than half. The mine guard upgrade will greatly reduce the damage that tank mines cause and will help protect the passengers, but not any C4 attached to your vehicles. The vanguard shield and a deployed Sunderer shield can save themselves from the tank mines. The EOD implant can also help locate enemy tank mines and potentially save yourself. Using Flak Jacket will also reduce your tank mine damage on yourself. If you see an enemy tank mine, let your teammates know right away and tell them to get clear. You can blow up the mine, or you can harmlessly deconstruct the mine using a fully leveled up repair tool as an engineer. Deconstructing the mines is very important to do 
if the mines are under an allied vehicle. Well, that is basically how tank mines work. Next time I will talk about some tips and tricks for using tank mines safely and effectively. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share the video to help the channel grow. If you have more beginner's tips about tank mines, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.